Hi, beautiful Libra. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Libra, this is your monthly for October of 2024. And it's been a moment since I was last with you. I think it was around two months ago. Uh, the last one you got was for August, so at the very end of July, which is crazy. It's just due to technical issues. So I keep saying this over and over again. And so it has uh, continued to happen a little bit in my reality since I continue to repeat that I have technical difficulties. Uh, if I've had them, they're no longer with me. I've got huge, beautiful help from gorgeous people. Um, and I seem to be on track right now. So that's why it's been forever. And I've tended to the personal readings first when something has worked. And then it's been back to this place of not working. So <clears throat> here we now are. Libra, let's see what's going on for you for the month of October. We're going to start with a general message, a general energy, and then go deeper and deeper into that energy. And at the very end, we're going to have your angels come out with some messages. So what's going on for Libra, please, for the month of October? Six, six weeks into the future, give or take, is what you can think. If this is valid. Okay, Libra. cards aren't you fancy three cards my goodness uh so everyone else and you're my 11th out of 12 readings so you're <laughs> everyone else i think everyone else has gotten one card and you get three and they are not bad in any way you have the leo card leadership so if you have any leo connections there Please check out the Leah reading. Um, Enlightenment card. This is like, this is just awesome. And then we have friendship. So let me just look at these for a moment and just see where the thread is or if there is, even is a thread. It's a special order. Okay. Wow, there's so much fire on Libra. You're not a fire sign, but maybe it's supposed to like bring you more into your fire. Wherever you feel like there's more action, wherever you feel like there's more like of the sun, warmth, fire, fiery energy that is really standing out. I just see humongous growth here, like, because I'm so drawn to, like, this is very much the same. I just want to show you that. Uh, I'm not really sure their face quite. Well, they're just a lot of different faces and different uh, cards in this deck, but the three cards coming out and it feel like it's almost like the exact same person these two like share the exact face it feels like with the golden face there so if we look at the we'll look at her first and then we have the golden face there if we can it doesn't want to this camera well I have to take my word for it. They're very similar, those faces. Like this one, and it's almost like we've zoomed in on this one. And it continues on to this. It's a little covered up because of all the bedazzling going on there. But like there's a clear movement. However, we don't start in a very low position. Like we have the leadership card. We have the lion, we have all the sunflowers, we have the fiery hair, and there's a fire fire torch. The sun really coming through with its, you know, rays behind you. So I see this as you. And so the sun, the sunflower, first and foremost, represents joy. It represents feeling the happiness of one's life, feeling like you're in it. And you're obviously in it since you wear this almost like a dress. Or you, we don't know where you start and the field of sunflowers end. 
this is like covered in joy, covered in happiness, covered in excitement and action. Like there's a, there's a real movement forward. And if you haven't stepped into this energy just yet, Libra, like you, you will, because you might wonder like, what the heck is she talking about? It just feels like you're not in this. When you're stepping into this energy, you'll feel it. There will no, like, you won't wonder if you're in it or not. If you wonder if you're already in it, you're not in it. Because once you're there, once you're, once you're stepped into this energy, you, like, you won't miss this. But I think that there's a leading up to it. You're going to feel like gradually, even though nothing much has happened on the outside, you're going to gradually feel that you're getting closer and closer and closer to sort of step into this next level of oneself. What I'm getting with this also is like, um, okay, we're going to keep it on a general level first. So moving in, so this is friendship, the friendship card, but I'm very drawn to because of this, because I feel like this is your journey, Libra, it's very much your journey within yourself. So it can represent like as a second step without the outside of the general message, it can be that, okay, so first you have this friend, one friend group. And as you move on up, or as you transform or change, this friend group is going to shift with it. Uh, other than that, I just feel like we're coming from this blue face, this naive face, and this very transformational face into the golden age. So there's a big shift, a big movement, and I feel like we have arrived. Usually when I get this card for whatever sign, I usually stop at like the purple, like we just... There's been a lot of spiritual growth. There's been a lot of transformation and we're sort of just entering into the golden age and we're just entering into the golden age here as well. I just feel like I'm very much drawn to this. Like we are actually in it now. So the transformation is still undergoing, like it's still happening in your life. They, this is probably the biggest shift within your life that you're ever going to see. I'm not saying it's downhill from here, but I'm saying you probably have been waiting for this, this moment in time and enlightenment so this is like something clicks into place and i understand you're not going to go from feeling completely asleep to completely awake or like completely down and out to complete happiness like it, it just doesn't happen that quickly and i'm not here to say it can't happen because it can you can't i i'm not seeing it from my own eyes but i know of people who has literally jumped timelines and it's like they go to bed one person and wake up another one. So of course it's doable, but I don't think that's in your case, that's not even the point. The point is to feel this journey, to even be in charge of this journey and to like step into this enlightenment. So this has been, it's been a moment to get here, right? But you're here. And I'm supposed to read from the book for the enlightenment card, so I will. Um, so I just feel like the leadership with a fiery Leo energy coming into the golden age, coming into en enlightenment. Like they're all very much the same. It yet feels like a journey. So like just wow. And there's tigers, like that represents the Leo as well. Tigers with strength, the elephants with so much wisdom. And like, I usually like if we were, were supposed to I know there's more people on this planet that really has started to remember where we come from, like remember who we truly are. And if there's a species, like if there's an animal group that we that sort of are doing the same thing, I would say those are the ele elephants. And probably that's why they carry so much wisdom, because they are the rememberer of the animal kingdom is how I feel it. I don't claim that as being the truth, but it's a truth for me because they always show up when it's about remembering fully who you are and and being in your potential and being the wise version of yourself and we have the peacock or two peacocks rather the white peacock with a normal peacock so then the normal peacock all of a sudden is being outshined by the white peacock really really strong so the peacock for me is like coming into your own like you're full on yourself like this is the full potential of libra but it can also represent like that soulmate so i that's also second. the second message here, uh, outside of the generalized message, is that um, you could, because you're coming into your own, you're stepping into your own soul connection, your own peacock, whatever that sort of represents for you, 
And therefore you're so like, you're so authentically you coming into your own authenticity like that will attract someone that's very much in their own authenticity. So like, this is a true soulmate encounter. So if you're looking for love, this is a big one. Okay. So we're going to start with reading from the book, which is also the first time there's a lot of, so here can be a, a message for you as well, Libra, that the month of October, uh, going on in towards the middle of November, there could be a lot of firsts, like a lot of new beginnings, a lot of trying something new or jumping on something new that you haven't tried before. A lot of firsts, a lot of new energy. Uh, enlightenment. <clears throat> I don't know if the microphone is picking up my heaters, my water heaters. And because it's not, I don't know what that's called in English, but like aired, because it's not functioning properly, the buildup of the water in the heater is like really beautiful. It's just flowing water, just dripping water. It just sounds really beautiful. So in one way, I wanted to have the heater fixed, but in another way, that's going to take away my, my water. I just need to get another fountain or something. Okay, enlightenment. Pursue spiritual growth. Well, you've done that. And it's not been there, done that. It's like that is truly what's going on here. Um, and that will just continue to go just, just higher and higher and deeper and deeper. You have come into your own. Wow. Yeah, it's exactly it. You have come into your own and are in search of something more meaningful to add to your life. Now is the time to meditate, deliberate, self-evaluate, and withdraw vo voluntarily from the world to seek truth and solitude rest and rest and a quiet retreat away from the daily routine will allow you to consider enlightened decisions and go in the direction of your heart this may also be the time to seek advice and spiritual guidance from a mentor <laughs> that's me sounds like i'm promoting myself here i'm not making it up it's right there um and obviously there are more people out there than me. Uh, just erase that. This may also be the time to seek advice and spiritual guidance from a mentor or experienced person. And the mantra of this card is, I search for wisdom and mental clarity. So I just love this. Um, obviously, you do with the time or space or commitments that you have in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. You do whatever you can with this. But like... To just really step away. It can even be like stepping away from what you usually do at night. Like if you in, in your evenings, if you go to um if you often seek out to meet friends uh in the evening, or like if you are, have kids and it's just excuse me, the very same routine with your kids, or if you're like um like me, a little bit of a serious junkie. To maybe just skip or try as best as you can with the environment that you have or the surrounding that you have that you withdraw into the into your own solitude to connect with your inner being with your higher self and do this maybe for like a couple of weeks to a month or something like that to just really ponder and really sit with your heart to see truly what wants to come through right now you're already on this path you're already doing the work in you're already like, I don't want to say as awakened as, as someone can be, but can someone be more awakened than they are? I think it's just either you are asleep or you're awake. And then as you're awake, you're just deepening on that journey. Like it just opens up more and more and more and go and it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. Like the expansion is just phenomenal. When you open up, you realize like, <laughs> oh my God, like there's so much. Um, you're already on that journey. So it's not that, it's just being quiet enough still enough on your own enough so that you can get into the some like real connections real answers here okay then i want to say because something came through uh as like a secondary message that this can be very 3d like someone is really moving up in the company it can be that you are starting your own business you've been thinking about starting your own business and this is the moment I'm recording this uh, a couple of days after the eclipse. I had every intention 
to record this the day after the eclipse. Uh, but there were a lot of stuff going on around that specific date, so I couldn't. So um, I just feel like you probably needed as well to move through that portal of that energy. And now like you're good to go. Like you can, like this is the moment. If you're supposed to launch something or uh, I also felt like someone's really moving up the ladder, like in a company, if you've been looking to like get to the, I'm not in this world. Um, and in Sweden, we don't have that much of a career ladder either. So I think this is quite a, an, an American thing. So I'm probably be more drawn to where you have like a, like different positions in a company um, where there, where there's a moving up, uh, there's a better position. I feel like someone you, someone of you guys are like moving on up on that ladder and really stepping into the next, like the next position in a company. And if you've been like thinking, like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Like, this is the time. Whether it's to start up your own business, to go to the next level of something. And this is very much around work. Uh, this is very specific. So someone maybe really needs to hear this. Like you, you really are on your way to the next step. Like you don't, there, you don't need anything else to jump on this ship or to get out on, on the ocean with this, like this feeling and the knowledge that you have so far is enough. Um, right. Yeah. And then what's the relationship that stood out as well? Like we're, if you're single and you're looking for love, because just because you're single doesn't necessarily mean you're looking for love. Um, like you said, you, you truly have come into your own. I, that doesn't mean that you don't have bad days. It doesn't mean that you are not questioning things every once in a while, but you are more in alignment than you probably have ever been. I'm very also drawn to the very, like, very different types of colors. You're, you're not just one color. You're a very um, mixed person. What do you say? Diverse person. A very diverse person. You might have, like, a lot, lot of ideas, a lot on your plate, a lot of, like, a lot of different skills. This might also be the reason why you're being asked to, like, just sit in stillness and let the answer come that you have maybe so many things that you want to jump, like what, what's the direction here? What do I want to do? Like there's so many stuff that actually nothing gets done or you don't really fully feel where you're being drawn right now. That can also, that solitude and being with yourself and with your higher self, that those answers can come through for that. You're getting into abundance. Like there's money here. There's growth. There's blossoming. There's opportunities, a lot of strength. You might be one of those people on this planet that start to really remember, like you truly remember who you are over lifetimes, over eons. Okay. Wow. Did most of the reading in the general feel. So let's go deeper here. Okay, you're gonna, wow. Even with a different deck that I haven't even used for the other ones. So maybe that's a message within itself as well. Like you get three cards instead of one. There's a lot of firsts uh, you get different decks than the others. Like there's a, like you're, it's like you just get something different now. Like you get, you're stepping into something different. And maybe it looks quite different to the life that you led previously, or it looks really different to the people in your, like to the other people that you have around you. But you're choosing it anyway. Okay, going deeper here for Libra, what do we have for the month of October, please? Triumph, authority, very similar in color. And again, it's very fiery, very fiery colors. Like I get those yellow, red-ish colors. And did I read from the book? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, and I didn't come out, but I want to show you. Love abounds. Number one, new energy, new beginnings. Love abounds. What do we have for Libra, please? Spread your wings. There's a true meeting point. We'll talk to that in a second. 
simply love. And one more. Nope. Different deck here. <clears throat> so curious what is that the fates the fates oh my goodness milk and honey there's there's the coloring like the diversity like the colors of the rainbow that you so are in right now like you're in it libra I mean, this is like milk and honey is the, that's where you want to be. That's the creme de la creme. And 51, so it's like one week out. Like we're so close. Okay, triumph and authority. So this is coming through again, very fiery. It's, I mean, triumph is about like going forward, take action and whatever it is that you want. If you're going to end up a success. This is really, really beautiful. Authority, this is very much like, again, feel, the feeling of coming into your own, standing within your own. It doesn't matter what other people are doing, what they're saying, what they're thinking. You're choosing your own path and you're sticking to it. Maybe this has been an issue in the past that you have tried to compromise in a way where, it, you know, it almost really serves the other person. You think it's a compromise, but it should serve, to serve two people or it's a compromise where it should serve the company and yourself or like a situation in yourself, but it turns out it only serves the other part or the other half or like whatever. Um, it can also be that you have silenced your voice a little bit because others are speaking up louder than you are. And this time around, it's like, nope, I'm not doing that anymore. Like I'm not falling for that anymore. Like you're, it's time to claim that voice. And Libra, when you hold, when you feel something and you push it down, when you have you know, when you see injustices in the world or when you look out into the world and there's just something that is a bit off, like no one will feel it more than you because you are the Libra energy. You are the core of that, of that scale, right? Of the justice system, of the, of things being evened out, of the yin and the yang and the, the equality of things, the equal measurement. And so... For you to step into that authority, integrity, uh, power, strength, fiery energy, it might be that other people like, they don't even recognize you. Like, who are you these days? And, you know, this is actually truly who you are. The other version has, who has showed up in the past. I mean, that's you as well, but it has been like a dimmed Libra, if that makes sense. So now you're stepping into your authority. I feel like there's a lot of, because there's a sketch of these pillars in the back, they're not here. We have, we're 51 weeks into the year, but it means that we're one week out. So we have pillars there that has been sketched, but we're not seeing the full manifestation. We have like, we're on our way to something. So you just continue do you Libra, like stand in that integrity continue to follow the path, maybe withdraw a little bit to, to seek out your answers. And you're, there's going to be this huge success here. Whether that is like a very 3D level, like daring to jump on that relationship, daring to start that bit new business, launching something new, uh, climbing that ladder, whatever that is for you. Um, it's a, you shouldn't sit here and promise things, but like from where I stand and from the energy and how it feels, that's a promise. And spread your wings. And I feel like, I mean, obviously there's a message through all of these cards. I just really feel this one this time. So the spread your wings. So this person's moving forward here, right? With the arms stretched out. With a connection to their higher source. So we see a beam of light going straight up into the ethers, right? And as she is walking with her very... Poor no <laughs> boots. Uh, <laughs> sorry, she's she's walking forward, and as she just can, as she just, the only thing she needs to focus on, whether you're a woman or a man, obviously, it's not gender specific, uh, but in this case, it looks like a woman. Whatever she 
focuses on doesn't matter her priority needs to just be and it's not so just at all times i understand that but to the mo most of your her ability <coughs> excuse me to keep this connection going with your higher source with your inner being outstretched arms like i am willing to take on life like i am ready and you just you just slowly, but this is very fast moving, but slowly, but surely you just move forward. And as you just focus on this and on that a little, a little this, um, and you just keep on moving forward, there's a meeting point, there's a boiling point, there's a threshold, there's a, do you see that? There's a meeting, like here comes the light in and it crosses the path. A lot with a cross there. It doesn't feel religious. I just realized that this is the sun. That these both the there's so much about the fire and the energy of the sun, like the right, the sun with its rays. It's almost like just keep walking towards the sun or the sun's rays or the sun's um energy right now and, and like we'll have such a different life if that's your wanting. You're going to walk there to a meeting point that there's, there's the only thing you need to do, which is not so an only thing every once in a while, is to keep that, continue to keep that connection going. And you might feel like you're, you're keeping the connection, you're keeping the connection, nothing much is happening. You feel, you sense the shift within, you have done a gigantinormous that is a word, um, like on this journey, right? So you're so well on your way. So you must feel that, or this is probably not your reading that it might be a little bit frustrating at times because, because, the, because you feel this meeting point, but you don't yet see it because you're right over here, but look how close you are. We're 51 weeks in. Right? We're, we're so close. And simply love. I just feel like this is a, there's the sun again. The sun with the sun. There's, there's, I mean, I'm not religious in any way, shape or form. I couldn't even speak to it. I, I don't have enough knowledge. I was just brought up without religion, but I'm very spiritual as you have, as you have figured out by now, if you've been with me for some time. But we have, there's a lot about the sun and the sun's rays, right? And then we have the suns again with the father and the sun. So, and we, I have a cross, like a Jesus cross, like a Christ, Christianity thing going on here. I just, yeah, I don't, yeah, whatever message that message, whatever message that is for someone you're going to feel it like you're going to, there's something about the connection with the sun and the sun, the sun, meaning the sun with its rays and the sun, like the father and the sun. There's a connection here. And maybe that's like placing for just one person, but there is something going on there. Other than that, I just feel like this is, this is where the wisdom is being passed down. And I think you're both Libra. I think that you are, the receiver of the higher wisdom. And it's also that you don't con you don't continue to repeat the old patterns where we sort of don't move forward that stops with you, but you bring down the wisdom. And then you so you're both the sun where you have like a higher power that's bringing you the message. But you're also the parent or the guardian that is then delivering the message to your children or to your students or to or to this planet into your garden is even like your students like you just carry it on a little bit like the elephant the elephant is a really strong symbol here this time and a peacock as well simply love okay and then we have milk and honey i mean this is like your this is what you've been wanting this is i think this is something that you've been aiming for but not maybe thinking that that will ever happen in this lifetime I'm telling you, Libra, it's here. We're one week out. 
and we might not be one week out literally, but this is a reading for give or take six weeks into the future. It's within those six weeks. Uh, 51, we have 52 weeks in a year and we're 51 weeks into this. So whether you want to say it's just one week left or like it's just, um, it's, it's a very short amount of time and space, like length left before you see this there's an opening here there's a shift there's for sure a, for, a before and an after and i'm like all for like the process and the progress and like there usually isn't a before and an after if there is a before and an after that's going on every single day but this is a before and an after this is huge can we just tiny little on the soulmates there can you say anything about the soulmate Win or lose. <clears throat> Ooh. Wow, this is a um, this is a person that you manifested. You really have brought them in. It's been a challenge, and I think that because you have come from a place, we have the magician, right? Number one, but we have win or lose, and with it's with the number five, with the sword with a heart sitting in the center, right? So the sword for me, <laughs> I mean, okay. I actually listen to the most profound. I listen to him whenever I, there's a new video. I listen to him. Uh, I can't remember his face now. Robert. They're all called Robert if they're in some type of mathematical, geometrical, super wisdom. Robert seems to be the name. Um, Robert. Nope. Oh can't think of a I put it in the description because that was like such a phenomenal podcast where they talk a lot about um Archangel Michael and Archangel Michael's connection with Jesus and how the cross could be seen as the sword like the cross if you turn the cross upside down there's the sword and the meaning of that sword I'm not going to take up time on that now but if that sounds interesting go check it out it's a mouthful, it's a handful, and you might have to listen to it several times, but there were a lot of cool stuff said in there that just, it just, and it comes up here today for a reason. Um, so I just see this very much as a, that is a sword, but it's also because we had the sun, this, the sun, the father and the sun, and the sun come out, coming out, uh, uh, and the this a couple of times, like there is, the connection there where there can be even be just a connection with the Christ consciousness. That's where we're all headed, like to our own inner kingdom of heaven, if you will. Uh, other than that, the sword for me represents communication. And so I think both you have communicated to the universe exactly what it is that you are looking for in a partner. We have five. So there's something that you have overcome in terms of relationships. And it's been a challenge, but there's been this is now when you're going through a change where the soulmate that you're attracting you actually you literally manifested them and you're choosing love this time like you're so clear on what this relationship is and of course you are because when you are coming into your own it's always no almost no room for anything else but a clear mirror of being in your own like in alignment that's really beautiful. Okay, we're going to end with the angels. <clears throat> what do you have for Libra, please? For the month of October. Okay. <clears throat> emphasis on how short it is okay so someone might even though you are a powerhouse you're all of this you're all of this and more you're like you're freaking i don't know what you are you have so much power so much fiery energy so much 
wisdom and like really have come into your own. You're so well on your way, Libra. So it's like you have all that and you probably feel the change, but it keeps coming out how short it is from where you are to where you will like to where you will have a breakthrough. So because I need to repeat that over and over again, it's because you're a little bit stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. That was way too harsh. I'm sorry. You're not stupid at all. In fact, you're the one who's wise here. You have the elephants on your side. You have the wisdom. You have, you're one of the rememberers. I'm trying to make up now for what I said. Um, the reason why I was saying it over and over again is because of that, that frustration. I felt that for a little bit. Like, okay, so if you are this phenomenal, wise, superpower, having the freaking sun on your side, why, why don't you see the, this profound change? You are, and you just have to continue walk that path. You just have to continue. This is like how close it is. We are 51 weeks in. We're one week out. And, and here we have within the next few weeks, you're going to see a change. So whatever that means for you, whatever this is, whether it's personal, whether it's like very practical, very spiritual, within the next few weeks, you're going to have, you're going to see profound change. If you just continue now, withdraw from the noise, make new choices in where you connect with your inner being is what's coming through rather than continue on making the same, like having the same interactions, having the same, mm, like whatever you're doing at nighttime or in the middle of the day or like whatever, like you're, ch you're, you're choosing to change that and put more focus on the connection from within. You just continue to do that, Libra, and there is a meeting point. There is a threshold that is like, okay, we're going to come up, come up against that. Here's where the shift happens. That's what I have for you, beautiful Libra. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me a lot. And please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much, guys.